Hello, faithful viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing Legends of Tomorrow Season 4, Episode 1, the version Gary. Yeah, they say the word version a lot of times, and uh, so I think they're trying to beat, yeah, Hocus Pocus records of how many times they can say it. Hmm. Oh. Anyway, this takes place five months after the Season 3 finale, and uh, Legends are doing pretty well, like, they go back to, uh, 1969, when the Beatles landed in, uh, JFK, and only, uh, time, uh, thing that came up was, uh, Paul Revere, the guy that screamed the bridge come, and now getting back, they were able to fix it pretty easily, but, the other time, so is, uh, Yes, Sarah was kind of bored since constantly promised some big mental trap, but then we found anything yet. Because Sarah thinks they'd just be glad that they didn't uh, cause trouble for once and like to fix it up. Um, then uh, Ava's call saying they need to see uh, the team in DC. Uh, I'm sure that Gary probably told Ava about. Uh, the dragon's head from the scene finale. Oh yeah, Wally in there in my uh, view of uh, so one of the five flash as they gone off to Legend but they're just gone off traveling to myself again. Anyway, when we get to DC, it turns out it's uh, a party for Legends that they get medals since Paul Revere was the last uh, time fragment, time distortion, I forget the word. And a bit of celebrating, and Sarah and Ava do their own celebrating in the bedroom. Mm. Um, that's just when uh, Ava asks Sarah if she wants to live with her. And of course, Sarah accepts the constant kind of rose mood will while uh, Sarah's going to get some bubbly. Because you're saying that there's dark stuff coming, but Sarah will be blaming since. Where they found anything. So they need some uh, stone behind to like get a tuning rod for dark magic or just dark creatures, or whatever. And they kind of got all the heroes, so. Anyway, uh, Ray and Zari does uh, talk about uh, what happened to uh, Nor Dark, Nor Allen, Nor West Allen. Oh, Norris. Um, then Nate and Ray just go off and to form a family. Um, the other people they're seeing from is uh, Nate's parents. Um, the other Nate and his dad are getting on well. And Sarah finds uh, a, a anachronism in uh, Woodstock. So uh, she goes there and Ray finds out and she thinks the anachronism is probably Nora so he and Zari go. Uh, when they start mentioning the massacre or the Woodstocker massacres he and Rory go Woodstock. So all the legends are Woodstock. And the threat a unicorn. And they're the same where, where uh, Nate and Rory say, or Nate and uh, Ray say that they're, that they're bronies. They're trying to get a Nick to join the herd. Ugh, I'll go, I'll go, saying that. Um, the, uh, Rory was about to shoot her, but the uh, Zyra stopped him saying they didn't really harm anyone. But before that uh, her and Nate did, and her and uh, Ray did find uh, a hippie's body with a tree and a hippie had a hole in his chest where his heart goes to be. So I would say it would be harmful. And the pony turned, or the unicorn just started attacking people. And taking their hearts. And just released some sort of uh, crystal mist 
and on lens and Zerg was off playing constant he was about to do something and just agreed to help this one time and just asked for the lens composed or the uh, affected by the mist yeah it's not the mist of the unicorn makes it kinda high like Nate has seen his dad but he uh, tells Rory why he didn't like his dad or he why, why he did that they get along I'm gonna start him off and then Rory is just that uh, seeing his rat axle and they're saying that they love each other and they're plugging. So I like I like the guesses Rory has of why uh and Nate don't get uh why uh his, his dad they get along. I think the the scary one for me is when that if he's if his dad's dad dressed up as a clown. And as a kid, to make a problem. Ugh. Um, I do kind of like that Rory, when Nate does tell Rory why, he's like, boo hoo, since he had a terrible uh, dad when he was growing up, so he, he had nothing to know what a terrible dad is, and then he does say something that's mostly cold to you, so. Mm -hmm. Um, Zary is really like like a hippie, just asking them making see the wind and saying that they're having they need to open his eyes, you know his eyes are open. Yeah, everybody's just acting high. What's that? It does something to you. And that's when Sarah and Constantine so with Sarah just trying to get Constantine to, to join the team but He's against this, and as you said, uh, when bad things tend to happen to people that he's close to, or a worse happens. Um, the one thing that's fine for him to know the the thing they're under is only temporary. Anyway, uh, constantly they'll find uh, a a way to get rid of the unicorn but turns out they need the, some items that you can find in one sock except the uh, one thing a version yeah there are no versions in one sock but we are here only at that time only a yeah, version for a short time um causing that he knows some of them might be able to help and of course that's Gary and Sarah tries to build Hans up saying he's like an intern resident, resident. and Gary's like, was excited and since he wanted to help the entire time uh, especially when uh, Rory and Nate were going up to rob somewhere it seems like he always gets the this or and the stick of the own things. Um, a new horn does come and nearly kills uh, uh, Gary, but it was a uh, constant took a long time to spell. Um, the new horn is set back to hell, and Gary lost his nipple, but uh, and he constantly go for drinks. Uh, so Sarah finally does uh, tell uh, Ada what happened, like with the with the door opening and a lot of that uh, other bad surprises come. But now she already knew and literally upset. And Sarah knew about the unicorn as well. He kind of upset that uh, Sarah went to Constantine behind her back, but yeah. Well, Sarah decides not to move in with her straight away since she feels she needs to be with the lessons and to take care of the timeline and that. And he has that drink with his dad. I guess it's the way a baron has it. And once again, Sarah goes to Constantine to try to get him to join up the lessons, but again, he's not free for it. He says he's glad I'm like I'm friends like Sarah but he's not, not really a great with uh, roommates 
that eh, the Lion's Heart is saying like he was more mopey than he was uh, before. Maybe some happened in five months that they are gone, but he didn't really say. And the last scenes was him getting drunk and getting attacked by some sort of bad uh, creature. Probably see what, what it is said uh, the next episode or at some point, but yeah, that's what I'd say. And that's the end episode. That's one episode, the good scene the uh, the lens again and then in Woodstock like kinda like get yeah, us when they were trying to guard uh, the Beatles. Uh, Zari didn't know how he could tell them apart and the Ray was saying what the like how they could and just playing to worry about the Beatles just going to want to be some like punk rock that bridge bands like Led Zeppelin or something. Ugh, it's just good. And Constantine in it is just great as always. Doesn't matter if the guy is uh, in live action or uh, animated, the guy playing him here is just great. I've got that good name, but. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that he's doing some foot wall breaking with Ray saying that the ratings are really high, saying that the the time period rate their employees. And did some good stuff like that. So hopefully, the next few episodes are as good or even better than this. Um, yeah, next, next time. And let's be going to Salem for a witch hunt. Uh, it's not me the witch and go look at it like a stereotypical one. But eh, that's what I'm going to see. Until uh, next time, I'll be soon. See you guys later.